calacula. Hello, Fortune. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us in your home today. It's uh, it's great to come over and see and witness uh, your great handiwork here uh, with this. Can we call it a fine mat or not? Yeah. It is a fine mat. Yes, this is a fine mat. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of fine mats, but I haven't seen a fine mat like this. So what 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 makes this fine mat different to other fine mats? Well, it's not different from other fine mats. These are all traditional handicrafts in Samoa. Yeah. yeah, okay. Can you tell us, uh, Tuna, uh, how long does it take to weave one of these mats? Maybe two or six months or seven months. Six months or seven months. So you sell your mats to women in business. Yeah. How much do you get from one single mat? But uh, sometimes I finish the uh, one step, one like this. I will give it to them and give me some money to help my family. How much? Uh, 400 or 200 Okay. A day, a day or a week. A week. Yeah. But that's not the full amount, is it? Yeah, it's not a full amount. Yeah. If I'm all finished, this man I will give them and they give all my money back. How much? Uh, uh, 5,000 tala more. So you make 5,000 tala for one man? For one man. Is that good money for you? Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> You're happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. Yes. So who sets the price of the mat? Is it you or is it women in business? Me. You. Yeah, I you. give them the, the price. I give them the price. Okay, you give them the price, yeah. and they say yes or no. Yeah, they yes. All right. They also so, they always say yes. Yes. All right. Do you know who buys your 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 uh, your mat in the end? Because women in business is uh, like a, a shop. They yeah. sell it to somebody else. Do you know who buys the mats for from you? Uh, yeah, I know. I know them. Okay. There's some um, Balangi from overseas. Yes. They came here to buy my traditional. Okay. Because they like the yeah. traditional mat. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, excellent. Five years. Five years. Yeah. I okay. got five years to weave this kind of mat. All oh, right. And how did you get into it? How did you start? Who taught you? Some other good friend of my community here in Palaku. Yes. He told me about how I'm gonna wear this mat. Yes. Now. That's why I know doing this okay. kind of mat. That's right. And five years ago, um, when before when you started weaving these mats, did you have, did you make this kind of money before? Yeah. Doing what? I every year I got the money from these mats. Yes. They make uh, uh, my things at home. Yes. Or father love it. Yes. That's my family or my husband side of yes. <laughs> yes. Family. Yes. So you make other mats as well. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Okay, but this is the best. Mat, is that okay, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So, in terms of uh, your income from the fine mats, uh, Tuna, 
before you weave the mats, what uh, were you uh, earning money from something else? No, just I hope I just doing this. That's the way I. Yeah, you earn your income. Income. Yeah, and, and you're very happy with yeah, that. I'm very happy. All right. Do you have family overseas? Yeah, I got my family overseas, sister and brothers. Yes. And and do they help you much? No. No. Just do my own income. Because you have your own income. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a good story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it helps them as well because they don't have to think so much about helping you here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. In the past, before you had the income from the mats, did they send you money to so you can live with your no, family? No. Not much. Okay. Not much. Okay. So let's say you you want to start weaving a mat. Do you tell women in business that you've started one, or do they come to you and say, "Tuna, can you weave us a mat?" Who makes a start, you or them? I make the start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have met uh, women in business at some other thing we do in our yes. our village. That's why women in business come here to me. Yes. They visit how I'm gonna do it. How yeah. Or make make uh, vegetable cutting okay. or yeah. uh, they come here to see what I'm doing. Yes. In my, in my house, they say that's cool. Yes. You make the handicraft on your own. Yes. That's who, that's why I really like to women in business to give me uh, a chance. Yes. So the women in business then look at the mat and they say, we will buy that mat. Yes. The first mat I weave in. Yes. And then you, they ask you, do they tell, ask you how much? No, yeah, I say he, she, he tell me how much he yes. give it. I'll, and what did you say? I said, they, my first match, I said, I give you 4,000. 4,000? Yes. 4,000. For my own first match. Yes. Okay. And they said yes? Yes. They and, take it. and they take it, yeah. and you were happy with that. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happens if uh, women in business did not take that mat? Somebody else? Is there anyone else that would buy that mat from you? No, I just weaving and wait some. Okay. Give it some friend to buy it. Okay, but now. Now. You have a market yeah. or somebody to buy your mat every time you weave one. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. So let's say you make four mats a year. Women in business will take all those mats? Yes. All right. So what does that mean? Are you going to try and increase your production? I more, more mats for one year. Okay. How many? How many more? I want to try the two, five, two, yeah. th two mats. Two mats. A year. year, okay. That's why I'm trying. To You've got two now. Yeah. All right, because that means you will make five to twelve thousand tala. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and that will be a good Christmas for the family. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And um, so, once you sell a mat to women in business, uh, do they come and pick it up from you, or do you take it to them? I'll take it to them in office. Yes. They make me a payment. Straight after, away? Yeah. Yes. Straight away. Wow. After I finish doing this math, uh, I'll give it back to them and bring all my money. Okay. Me. So they have already paid you some money for no, this? Right now, no, right now. No. No. But that's okay. You know they'll give you the money. Yeah. All right. Well, if I need the money right now, they, I'll bring you the... the Mats to the office yes. and give me the payments. Okay. Are you happy with your talent? Yes, I'm happy. I'm uh, to my type Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> Are there many people in Samoa that weave the real Samoa fine mat? Yes. There are a few? There are a few communities yes. in 
Okay. In the country. In the country. In the country. Okay. And you all get together and share ideas or yes, what? I go to share my idea to them. Yes. How can you make the first Man. Okay, all right. So you teach others? Yes, I teach them how to make from the first, then yes. do this, like all this, right. living like this. Oh, excellent. How to make the, the first, to cut the, cut. what we call yeah. the, the laufala, laufala. Ah, the I, leaf. Yeah, ah, the leaf. E. yeah. I taught them how to make. Yep, and then they know. They, they know. How many people have you taught? Hey, many people. I have a community at uh, Haufanga. Yeah. Women in business. Yes, okay. I taught them yes. how to make a first yes. step. Yes. And come another step. Yes. Do you make money when you teach people? Do they, do they give you money uh, or a fee? No. I try my my own way to help them. Okay, okay, that's very good. You know, to know when you sit down on a for a session, to say you're going to sit down today, so I'm going to Lalanga yeah. to weave the mat. How long do you usually sit down for? An hour, two hours? Mm -hmm. One hour we stand, make a relax. Yeah. And it come back. How many? Yes. So how long do you whole day? Oh, right. I'll sit the whole day to weaving this. You sit the whole day. And how many days a week do you think you will uh, weave the mat? Is it every day or? Yeah, every day for four day, uh, five days in a week. All right, and six Monday, months. Yeah. Uh, Monday. On Friday, yes. Saturday. My rest time. Rest time. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you will do this for six months? Yes, I do this for six months. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Hello, I'm going to walk here. Oh, you're going to so Tuna, can you explain to us how big the mat is going to be? Yeah. Fasa mope. Ah. Fasa mope. Ah. le umi o le mele. Ola ole 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 ole. Umi o le ie o le sululua le umi. Se fululua anga. Aya. Ola le umi o le anga. Anga. Ola. Nene ka o le anga. That's one anga. Yeah. Okay, so there's 12 of those? Yes. Going to so one? One. Make like this. Two. Two. Okay. Three. Mm, you so count this. like this. Okay. So you have 12 across. Yes, across. And, and, and this way? Nine. Nine. No, okay. No. Two. Have two messages. So you've only done two anga so far? Yep. Oh, okay. All right. So that measurement, uh, 12 anga by nine. 9, is that a standard measure for yes. these mats? They all the standard measure, measure. from the okay. Ministry of Women and Business. So that's a standard measure from WIB? Yes. Okay. That's interesting. So when you finish uh, weaving this mat, is there a special ceremony to uh, to mark the end of the of the mat? Yeah, what the, so? What do you do after finish this mat? They have to get a uh, little Okay, so it's a special ceremony. Yes, this is the special ceremony. They okay. They bless the mats, or yes. is there a a prayer or a service? No. no? They, I don't know. They, uh, I think they bless the mats. The mats, yeah. yes. And uh, so it's not just your mat; it's other other women as well. Yeah, Their mats. Yes. They all come no, together. Only mats. That's other women. Uh, in, in the uh, village. In the village. In the village and. Okay. Yeah. So you show. So it's a showing of the mats, yeah. and then after that. They give it back to, to the women 
business. Okay, then the women in business can't take it yeah. and it's sold. Okay. 